Kiki, and today we're going to be painting a butterfly. We're going to be using blue, purple, black, and white. We're also going to be using a chisel brush, a medium brush, and a fine brush. I start with my chisel brush and the blue. I get just a little bit of water. I am gonna make the outline of the butterfly. So close your eyes. And what I want to do is make sort of like a triangular shape like that. And then I make a round shape on the bottom. You can make it go out just a little bit. And then and then round it on that side and fill it in. And then you can go around the cheekbone right here and color that in. and that's the first step of the butterfly. And then for the next step, I'm gonna take the purple and my chisel brush again. And I'm just gonna create dimension in the wing by putting a little bit of purple on each side. And you can open your eyes see what it looks like with your eyes open. That looks really pretty. And I like to do a little bit up there too. And a little bit up there. And these colors I think look really great together for a butterfly, really purple. And there we have it, that is step two. So for the third step, we're gonna start putting in our black. Take your very fine brush and black paint. And I like to do the body of the butterfly next. So I'm gonna put the head of the butterfly right there. And then I like to do two sections of the body. One. So that's the body and the head, and now I'm going to do the antennas. I like to go about three quarters of the way up on the forehead, and I make a curly like this, and then I go all the way down. And then I do the same on the other side, but opposite, so I make a curly like this, and then I go all the way down. You're gonna make another swirly like this. And go all the way down and around like that. And then you can go the opposite way. You're gonna go like this. And swirl like that. And then you're gonna go opposite. So you just do the same thing all the way around. You do a swirly here, swirly there. They're just opposite swirlies. And you just sort of follow the outline of the butterfly. So swirlies, we just, they're really um, not that hard, they just take practice. And then another one going opposite, like that, and coming around. And then go that way around. And you can kind of do them however you want. They don't have to be perfect. But it looks good if you have one going one way and then one going the opposite way. And we have this one like going that way. And then one more to match the other side. Okay, and that is the third step of the 